Hey guys, Old Beater Cars Workshop. Well, here is my uh, Dodge D50. I just finished doing it a little while ago and uh, put it on the little uh, Lazy Susan here and show you guys uh, the finished product. This is um, uh, the color on it. It's called uh, by Testers is light ba light blue. Testers color. It's uh, enamel. I don't know if it'll focus or not. Anyways, so um, I wanted to paint it red. I really did, but I couldn't find any red paint in my little town. Believe it or not, I couldn't find anything. I went to uh, Lord Co. I went to Napa, and I went to the hardware store I like to go to. Both hardware stores, and they didn't have any red paint. I guess they're not. I guess they're not sending uh, red paint from China anymore. <laughs> and I didn't have any in my stash of paint. I used it all up. I do have some red paint, but it's Chevy orange, so it's not really, uh, I guess it could be kind of red paint. But anyways, <clears throat> I used what I had. It turned out pretty good, so. Uh, interior is nothing special. I just made it brown. Brown interior, blue looks pretty good that way. And uh, it's just nothing crazy. And I did the window trim on it in black. Uh, that's why I kind of like them, like that. Sometimes I like chrome, sometimes I like black window trim. Suits the part. And the, I added the fender flares onto the kit here. They're a bit, of a, a bit of a pain in the ass to put in there, but you know how that is. So yeah, and, and uh, I also added, um, I put the spin on it, added a spare tire to it. Uh, probably would have been the original spare tire on the truck maybe originally. I don't know. Uh, there's really nowhere to put it. Uh, underneath, uh, there would have been a spot, but I'll show you that in a minute, what we had to do. Because uh, you can tell it has side pipes on it. Well, um, not very rare, not very usually you put side pipes on a four cylinder. We well, could, but <laughs> but anyway, we uh, like I said, we used the tires and rims from the kit on here, and I dechromed them. I like I actually like uh, white spokes, but I like them in white. I, I, I like white spokes either or oh, white call it eight spokes, eight spoke wheels. These actually might be more. I think they're eight. I don't, I don't, whatever. But um, uh, either I like these in aluminum in real life, or painted white or black. I don't, I don't care for the silk. I don't care for the chrome ones. Never have and I never will. But anyways, so we used the original mirrors off the kit. They look kind of cool. Looks the part. Um, maybe AMT could a little bit did something a little better with some smaller mirrors. It would look better. But if you're making this truck into a uh, work truck or as a plain Jane. Uh, D50 then the mirror suit the part Bumpers are blacked out well, I like them and here's the thing We put a 318 in it a little 318 in there uh, found out some other Dodge kit I had and uh, Looks the part and I missed the damn little piece of black there again as always Darn it Pick up the detail or not so I'm still getting used to this camera. But anyways, looks right. Um, now the underneath is a different story. Yeah, look at that uh, fancy schmancy exhaust, eh? <laughs> Only from Old Beater Cars Workshop. And the uh, rear tank. The tank that was provided with the kit was too small, I figured, so we put a different tank in it. A tank on a fuel tank on the back of the truck. So the spare tire probably would have gone in here originally, but I figured a flat tank was better. And yeah, so. But and the exhaust is in there. I did some custom exhaust making there using our good old uh, pipe bending thing. And it's not, it's not exactly perfect, but it looks the part. And here's the exhaust and such. But, you know, it looks okay. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it is what it is. And uh, kind of built it the way that um, some Joe Blow would have built it when back when anyway. You know, it's not it's not a showpiece. People build some people build trucks for a show, and some people build trucks to use. And this is one of those trucks that was built to be used. <laughs> Day, daily driver, you know, going back and forth town, taking mom gro mom grocery shopping or your wife grocery shopping, whatever. Or taking kids to the soccer game. Pop them in the back if you had a back seat.
<laughs> with those seat belts, maybe they bounce out. <laughs> Anyways, this one has a roll bar with it to this kit, but I didn't, I didn't um, uh, put on there. I just, simple, clean little truck, and um, we lowered it a little bit more than it should have been, but it looks really, really good the way it is. So I'm happy with that, and um, that's all to say about that kit. It's a really good kit, pretty good built. And like I said, AMT could have added a little bit more to it and maybe could have stuck maybe, you know, an optional 318 in there uh, or even a six cylinder, a V6, uh, well, something like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe a V6 or a, a V8 as an option would be kind of cool. But, you know, it is what it is. And we're model builders. We can do all sorts of funky stuff, right? So, all right, guys, thanks for watching my video and I'll be posting another video here shortly of my next project. All right, take it easy.